Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video four ways how to take a screenshot at the Huawei P40 Pro. So let me show you the first one, it works with the buttons, we need the power button for and the when down button. Press these both buttons for short for the same time and we will have a screenshot. Then you will see here the preview. Um, if you tap on the preview you can edit it, if you swipe the preview up you can share it maybe directly on WhatsApp or Messenger and so on. If you swipe the preview down you can make a scroll shot. Maybe if you're on a website um, and you, if you want to have more than you have, uh, than you see right now, then you would have made a full website as a screenshot. So very nice. So let me take one more time a screenshot. And um, if I tap now here on a screenshot, as I said, we can edit it directly. Huh? It was, uh, just wanted to crop something here. Or as you have seen, we can also draw something. No? And uh, yeah. If you are ready with it, you can share it here directly. Also, no, the, the, the edited part, or you can save this edited part directly to your gallery. So the second way how to take a screenshot is just swipe down, uh, swipe down at the second time, or scroll down, scroll down a second time to go to the settings here. And we need here the icon with a scissor to take the screenshot. So it works also very well. And the third way maybe you know already if you a Huawei user of the Pro models, so just double knock on the screen. So very nice, double knock on the screen and you will have a screenshot. In case this knocking feature doesn't work at you, normally it's a default setting, um, then you can enable it again. So if you're going here on the settings, then scroll down to the point accessibility features and then we will need the point shortcuts and gestures and the point take screenshot should be enabled until you see um, some instructions again. Okay, and as I said, there's the fourth way how to take a screenshot, but this one you have to enable first. Uh, but I show you at first how it works. So because you could use the hand on the screen and the screen will recognize that you put the hand like this and then you can uh, put the hand together and you will have a screenshot. So as I said, we have to enable that feature normally because it's not a default one. Uh, here are the settings. Then we have to scroll down to the point accessibility features. Then we need here shortcuts and gestures. And we need now here the last point, air gestures. And uh, this here, the grab shot um, has to be enabled and uh, then you have also a little instruction here how it works you can also scroll and so on if you uh, uh, enable this one here um, yeah but this is the grab shot here as you can see the hand goes together and you will take a screenshot but as i said this requires really a bit training that it works so me at the end let me show you about the scroll shot so we go here to the settings because it's a long list here and you could use also a website if i take now here a screenshot and swipe down my screenshot. So I have to tap the very first time on allow. And now he will take all the settings automatically. If you want to interrupt it, meanwhile, you can just tap on the screen and you will stop the uh, screenshot automatically. But then you will have here the complete uh, settings as a screenshot. The same works, as I said, also with websites. So you can really try it. And um, yeah, after, of course, you will find your screenshots here at the gallery and as you can see I had really many tries here and uh, yeah at the category albums what's very nice that the screenshots have their own folder so here you will see all the screenshots you took with your smartphone. Yo, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your questions and uh, yeah maybe if you want you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up that would be really helpful for my videos uh, thank you so so much for and uh, yeah, I've created also with some other videos if you're interested in, or may just subscribe me. It will be really a pleasure to see you again. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.